What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the One Up Podcast. I am your host, Jose, a.k.a. El Caballo. Here with some of my co-hosts and best friends, Pucho, Mateo, and Doughboy. Yo, Pooch, uh, so what you been up to, man? Um, Still playing games. Still uh, still watching Snowpiercer. I recently got my Demon Souls Platinum. I, 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 you know, my basically my first PS5 game that I've really played through. So, Damn, it's just dope. Yeah, I know. Me and Easy's been uh, going ham on that game. It's fucking. It's good. I never really gave it a uh, an honest try when I played it back on the PS3. Um, is is a really good game. I enjoyed it. What about you, Mate? What you been doing? Just gaming and working, dude. It's COVID times, man. There's not a lot of not a lot of, a lot of excitement going on. You know, yeah, I can hear that. Still more, still more Valheim. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if I get into anything else here. <laughs> what about you, Doughboy? Believe it or not, I'm still trying to beat Persona Five Royale. <laughs> so we're in, I thought we're you beat a, that. I'm like 110 hours plus. It's got to be somewhere in that 120. Um, is it because you're doing a bunch of side quest bullshit, or you just? Oh, that's just how long the game is. I it's, don't think that's I don't think I can dedicate that much time to a game anymore, dude. I don't know the last time that I put that much time into a game. It certainly is getting to a point where I'm like, wow, this is a, this is a lot to take in. It's still amazing. And even the way they tell the story towards the end, it all leads up. And we kind of have gotten past the c- climax, in my opinion. So for me, it's kind of like, when is this shit going to come over end? But apparently I have three months more with the Royale content. So we'll see where this takes me. Um, it, I am trying to go for the platinum. There's, I'm only a few trophies away from actually making that happen. So it looks like I'm gonna get a platinum there. All the trophies pretty much fall into your lap. There's only a few, like you gotta go to visit locations and stuff like that. So you guys are platinum, <laughs> platinum whores. One thing is called platinum junkies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, platinum I, junkies. It's still, I'm gonna. We're still gonna do it. I we figured have, we have once to. we once we once we get into some number of ep- episodes, maybe we get another day to record something like that, or maybe just two of us. However, it plays out. We could do a PlayStation podcast. And we could throw it up on the same channel. I, I'm the, the Platinum Junkies, man. That was our, I got a lot of plats. I got over a hundred plats now. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I got a bunch yeah. too. I got yeah, like four. That's insane, insane. The last Platinum I got, I had to go back and get it. Was the Spider Man one? The um, original. Yeah, the original one. Do you remember um, Pucho when Demon Souls came out on the PS3? Yeah, I remember. It was like 2009. Do you remember oh, yeah. when I sold? What was it? I I sold my. I took my rock band back. The the rock band Beatles. The rock band the, Beatles. The blue pad wasn't working. It came defective, and instead of me reboxing it up, just like the other one, right? Harmonix. I'm sorry, just like the other one. No, no, the other one. <laughs> no, just like no, no, no. The other one was defective. By a very good friend of mine that came over, and we had a good time. But he had a really good time. It seemed like he in unleashed. There was a song. Um, you and the man never start of me, and I'm about to break. Break the park. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of my instruments suffered a catastrophe after that song was played. Nah, fuck that. We're, we're going to get into this. I went to Doughboy's house when we were younger. He had Rock Band. I've never played it, Mateo. Right? Mm. Never. I always thought it was lame. And then Pucho and Doughboy was playing the shit out of it. Uh, Pucho was the bass. No, no. Pucho was the guitar. Doughboy was the drum or the bass guy, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he also had a micro. He had the full setup, right? So uh-huh. I was like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll play with y'all. I'm, you know, I'm fucking with y'all niggas. Let's do it. So I got into it. Uh, I said, yo, let me use the drums. Yeah, we would all start to take turns. All yeah. right, I have to be the singer now, and you be the drummer. So I was like, let me be the drummer. I like, I want to, you know, play the drums. And so he's like, all right, this is what you do to play. I'm like, all right, cool. As, as I'm, you know, practicing, I'm hearing all the drums. One clicks a little bit louder. The other one's clicking normal, whatever. So we start playing. I don't know what song it was because it wasn't the break. I, I don't think it was about to break. Maybe. I don't know. We start oh, playing. Started, that's where it broke, but it nah. was a build up to that. It was uh, the nah. break was right here. 
and then I couldn't use it anymore. But we were building up to it. But when the first time you play Rock Band, I don't know why they didn't make those things tougher. When you think about it in retrospect, I'm like, yo, this is not have enough a padding to protection for the rim because if you did not hit the 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 pad, that means that you were hitting the edge, which was a piece of plastic, and it was just you instead of hearing the pads it will go clack 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> what is that you that's what you did that's what you, you said doing. it was a piece of plastic i don't know what this how, how that was supposed to help me visualize it was a piece of plastic <laughs> the fucking guy bro like it wasn't quite square there was an angle to the to the gesture i, don't I didn't know. understand that uh, the rim of it should have been all rubber like with some sort of plastic because so it should have it been more like up... this for the no. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so anyways bad example thank you so all right. we're I'm... playing right we're fucking playing i'm enjoying the shit out of the drums i'm hitting almost every note on point right pow 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 so then on we... so yeah whatever nigga first time playing it <laughs> so i'm hitting it and then we switch around, we switch around, and I'm the vocal guy breaking uh breaking habits, I think it was the name of the song, or Lincoln Park crawling. I think I yeah. don't know. Lincoln Park song. And the guy was singing, da, 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 da. I'm about to lie. Every time I just kept at those points I would go and it would it would hit pretty fucking good on the line, right? Whatever. So then a couple of days go by, or whatever. Pucho calls me. Pucho hits me up, like, yo, um, I think you broke D- uh, David's uh drum set. Like, what the fuck you mean? I broke his drum set. Some shit was working just fine when he was there playing. He was like, one of the pads are clicking and clacking. I'm going to go buy his crib later or some shit like that. One of his pads were caved. It was caved in. <laughs> the shit, it was not clicking and clacking. The shit was caved. So he said he was going back to his crib later. I'm like, right, I'm going to be there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Double has no idea that Pucho was telling me this shit, right? So I go over there. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, we should play uh, rock band, <laughs> right? And the was like, nah, nah, the the drum pad broke. I'm like, oh, how did it break? And you know, the way I, I can see him in his face, he wanted to say, you broke my shit, nigga. And he was just, no, oh, I don't know. I think maybe when you was uh, playing it, he was all soft with it. Maybe when you just playing it, 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 it just, I don't, just listen to it. So I go over there, and it is making a noise. I'm like, oh. Well, Pooja told me you said that I broke that shit, <laughs> right? And he was like, well, yeah, you were the last one. Fuck out of here. I didn't break shit. That shit was pre-broken. I came in and played it. Now you want to pass it on to me. Like, I broke something of yours. And Doughboy made this whole thing. Then he, then real Doughboy came out and was like, oh, yeah, when you, I was about to break. You fucking hit the, the damn shit on the side of the, of the plastic. You hit the side of the fucking plastic and it broke. I'm like, nah, bro. Them shit's been clicking and clacking before I even started playing that shit. And you just want to pass and, it on. And coincidentally, it was the blue one that broke. And when I bought the next one, because I got that one sent in and Harmonix sent me a new one. They seen the damage. <laughs> that was done. They said they felt bad. They took their measurements. They were like, they it's not one. like this. It's like this. I, it's- what I think is hilarious is that Tony has a long history of destruction. <laughs> Name it. History of destruction. He has a long history of destruction. I have no, no, I don't. There's over, we have over five instances of you destroying something. Name Didn't it. Did you break a chair at our, at our Florida trip? Nope. Well, how about, how about when, 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 when you broke Matilda's chair? Remember that? <laughs> I'll explain that story. Did it? I'm just saying. I didn't or what break about it. Everett's vase or, or the, the thing? What thing? We were dancing in Everett's house one night, and you broke the the vase. I didn't break the Shit vase. Shattered. Oh yeah, you kicked it over. Dude. I did not. And you broke Everett's couch. You weren't even in the house, and you broke the couch. So, <laughs> Remember that one? We're, no, we're attacking this shit one by one. First one at um, Everett's people's house. They had this old plastic, you know, those old foldable chairs for the beach and shit. Old as fuck. Everett was sitting on it. And, they were, and she brought us, a, she was bringing us plates of food to eat. And I was like, all right, cool. And the, so they're bringing me, I was on, I was sitting on the bed and everyone was like, yo, sit on this chair, nigga, I don't want you to spill nothing on the fucking bed. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go and sit on it, gently sit on this chair, right? Didn't even move. 
She brings me a plate, brings ever the plate. I grab the plate and I hold it like this at my stomach and I'm about to eat. Boom, the chair fucking breaks. <laughs> it caves into the ground. I'm like, bueno, my nigga. Ever's there like, what a face like. Wow. I, and then the grandmother Broke comes my fucking in. fucking grandmother's chair. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, oh, shit. This old ass chair. I'm like, come on, bro. That was the first instant. That pre- ever pre broke that shit. Right? Okay. The second one with the vase. Dancing. Multiple motherfuckers was dancing in this area. Pucho was dancing in this area. True statement. Maybe the vortex of his spinning moves that he was doing. Whoa. <laughs> vibrated <He> was... that vase. <laughs> oh, and it would just move it over. He was like. <laughs> and, it, and, and it knocked it over. What the fuck? <laughs> Niggas, and I'm on the other move side. Again, it's the vortex. <laughs> oh God! Are you saying you're saying that somehow Puto created a vacuum with his dancing move? <laughs> <It> created <laughs> the vortex that brought the face over. It has to be. It has to be. And th- oh, there's another break that they blame me for. That could be me though. I was fucking with the the lights. The light switches in the kitchen, and I was just flicking them on and off like a fucking rave. <laughs> <laughs> flicking them on and off with a, as a rave, and niggas was into it. Niggas was vibing. Niggas was happy, right? Whatever. I left them on. <laughs> Everett goes back to it. To fucking work with it. It didn't want to work. Nope. <laughs> that nigga was like, this nigga broke my light. <laughs> he was like, this nigga broke my lights. I'm like, bro, I didn't break shit, bro. Fuck. But I kind of think I think I did break that because I was fucking. Definitely <laughs> can break a light by doing that. So whatever that happened, one night on a Friday night we was chilling at Everett's crib, all of us on the couch, right? Chilling, whatever. Everett likes to do these stupid shits where he's next to you trying to get your attention or talk shit about somebody in the room or just to make a joke. This nigga does this. I can't even show you the camera, right? You sitting down, he jabs you right, jabs here. you right here. Ta, 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 ta. You're like, ah, you're like, what the fuck, no, <laughs> Like you're doing this, but he'll, he'll jab you, you mad times real fast, like that. Ga, 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 it's ga. it's an unearthly <laughs> strength he has on his fingertips. That shit is like goes into your soul, comes back out, and just repeated taps. I'm like, oh, and, and whatever. And so those gyration movements on the couch from that, right? Cool. Tony, Tony looked. Like somebody who was getting hit with like a defibrillator. He was, his whole body I was not. Was no, see how he's adding couch. extras. He's adding extras right now for the story. I was no, like I'm this not. the whole time. Yo, Yo chill. Everyone no, was jabbing him to get his attention. This nigga, Tony's like, blah, 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 blah. That's extras. He's adding Everett extras. Everett stops and he looks at this motherfucker. He's like, Yo, why the fuck are you gyrating on my couch like that? <laughs> Nigga is stabbing the shit out of me. I'm like this. Yo, chill. Chill. I was like this. Chill. And he and he's laughing the whole time drunk, right? Cool. They all chilled the next day. I didn't come through. Whatever. How about... <laughs> how about these motherfuckers was all chilling on that couch? Pucha whenever, right? Something happened. That couch broke between them two on it, right? This nigga has the audacity to call me and say, yo, you broke my fucking couch. I'm not even in the fucking house, my nigga. How the fuck I broke your house? How the, how the, I broke your couch? How? Oh, from prior, the prior day, all your gy- gyrations you were doing. You pre-broke the couch. So when me and Pucho sat on it, it fucking broke. No, nigga. You was probably jabbing the shit out of Pucho. Made that nigga gyrate. And then that shit broke. Or one of y'all niggas was doing something stupid. I ain't break your fucking couch. Oh, yeah, you did, nigga. Word. So then I go to Pucho. Yo, Pucho, this nigga's calling me saying I broke his fucking couch. Pucho's like, nah, it was Everett. I'm like, word. So I call Everett. Yo, you broke the couch, nigga. Pucho already told me you broke that shit. Don't blame me for that shit. What was that for? It was like a, a three phone different con- phone, um, phone conference call prajas about who broke the fucking couch. Everett said I broke the couch after that. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga bought an old fucking couch. How about the hamsters? The hamsters. Yeah, the gerbils, sorry. Did you break a gerbil? Yeah, he yo, broke I... many gerbils. Let's not get into it before somebody flags this video for animal. Nah. Yeah, let... Ain't nobody flagging yeah. shit. 